Hello, my name is Michael Prom, Applications Engineer for Applied Engineering. This video is going to show off the new bomb and drawing functionality in Inventor 2010. As you can see here, I have a model open and uh, I wanted to make some changes to my subassembly because I forgot to put some descriptions in here. So now my BMM manager, I can actually make changes. You can see when I grab a line here, I can actually tab and shift tab back and forth just like I would with Excel. This is different was before I would only be able to select a whole line. So I can now come back in and add in those descriptions that I forgot to enter when I was building up each one of these components. Not only that, I still have the same functionality as Excel where I can actually copy and paste my tabs in here. Now something else that industry has been asking for is having the capability of actually capitalizing all the letters in the bill of material uh, for accounting software. So what you can do now is once you have all my components selected, I can right click and choose the capitalize tool. This allows me to come back in later and capitalize all my words so that when it goes passed on to management, passed on to the accounting department, all the information is entered in there properly. With this done, I'd now like to switch over and open up a new drawing. So I'm just save this and go into my right click open drawing command and just grab the drawing for this assembly. Now with this drawing open, I'm actually come in and insert a bill of material. While I'm inserting this bill of material, I want to be able to minimize the, the maximum rows that can go down so that it does falling off the page here. And with this inserted, you're going to notice that all my words that I grabbed for capitalization is actually brought over as well. So all that updating I'm doing while I'm in assembly for my bill of materials is actually brought over to my drawings as well. Now taking a look at a different view or a different sheet in my drawing, I want to do a new projected view off of this. Now one issue that I've always had in the past is when I'm doing uh, section view off of this. My gears dimensions would never be proper if I was trying to do this in 09. Whereas in 010, I can actually do a section view from the center of each one of these gears and then do a projection view off of that. What this is going to allow me to do is do a simple section view and then do measurements off of them that are going to be correct. So I'm just going to create a section view here. Once I have it placed, you notice that it's a lot larger than what I need it to be. So I'm just going to use that crop command that was added in the last release to grab the section that I need. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to focus on the gears. So I'm just going to grab a draw a box, draw a box around the gears I'm uh, interested in here, and crop out the rest of that drawing. And once I move it into place, I'm just going to come in and uh, shade this, make it a little easier to see. And with that done, I can add, start adding dimensions to this. I, again, the key point about this is with the section view, being able to do it from the center of each one of these gears, now when I come in and put my dimensions off of this, I can actually have proper dimensions, uh, not have to worry about um, them not being from center to center. 